In Grace Communion International, we use the phrase divine participation. What we mean by this is that as we have become aware of God's incredible grace towards us through Jesus Christ, that we in turn respond by joining Jesus in what He is presently doing in our world. We respond to the Lord's amazing gift of salvation and relationship by participating with Him. In today's tribute video of Speaking of Life, Dr. Joseph Tkach paints a wonderful picture of how we honor our great God by the simple expression of, whatever we do, we do it unto the Lord. I am Greg Williams, and I hope you enjoy this week's installation of Speaking of Life. Several years ago, the monks of St. Sixtus Abbey in Belgium received a special honor. Their Trappist Ale was declared the best beer in the world. As word got out, the beer, and thus the monastery that brewed it, exploded in popularity. Thousands of people drove hours to get there, while thousands more flooded the brewery's phone line with orders as many as 85,000 calls per hour. The demand for product became so great that it was almost impossible to get a case of the ale. I received this one from Gerard Claude and Claire Claude, our pastoral team on the French-Belgian border. But here's the interesting part. Instead of using their newfound fame to increase production or raise prices, the monks continued to make exactly the same amount of beer and sell it for exactly the same price as before. Why? The answer is simple. They brew beer not as a business, but to support the operation of the monastery. Or as their abbot said, we brew beer to be able to afford to be monks. In other words, they never set out to brew the best beer in the world. They simply set out to honor God, and everything else followed after that. In his first letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul reminds us that, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Think about that for a second. Whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. For his first 30 years on earth, Christ worked with wood, shaping it into tables, chairs, or maybe even a door frame or two. Like brewing beer, carpentry is hard work. It's exacting and takes many hours of concentrated effort to master. But he pushed through, making each chair to his Father's glory, and he taught us a valuable lesson by doing so. God's glory isn't limited to great actions or moments. Sometimes it's found in the small and the mundane details of our daily lives. So the next time you're facing a task that seems mundane, remember the monks of St. Sixtus. Remember that if their efforts at brewing beer can be used to reflect God's creative, good, why skillful, perfecting work, then whatever you're facing certainly can too. Here's to the glory of God. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.